Hello, today we are going to show you the industrial testing of the impedance. Make a closer look. First, as you can see here, is a connected drill, which can be also easy to remove, something like this, inside of the box. You can find different accessories helping us with uh, different measuring methods which are very useful for any energetic environment where we need bigger power to do the job correctly with the reliable results which can uh, give us good picture for maintenance and for troubleshooting. Flex clamps used for one clamp method or iron uh, type of clamp connected uh, for partial current measurement. Here we can find very powerful crocodiles with four wire type of connection. So we connect current bananas separately and voltage bananas separately. Another type of accessory that is useful for testing the uh, step and contact voltage in surrounding of industrial uh, yards. Some tips and smaller crocodiles. Now we can open the uh, impedance adapter and um, we can connect this adapter to the switchboard. First, we need to connect wires. Check whether you are connected in the right way, right manner. So, one part of the connectivity goes to channel 1, current and voltage. And the other channel connected again to the voltage and to the current sensor. Now, we are on one side connected to the instrument. The other side, we are going to connect the crocodiles. Current and voltage. So, one part goes to the grounding or to uh, PEN conductor, the other part goes to line conductor. We are going to connect it like this, checking that connections are good here and here. We can remove the gloss, it's easier to operate. Turn it on, use Eurotest or use uh, any Android phone or tablet and we can run the test uh, from the distance. Switch it on and come closer to the camera so you will be able to see the results, we can talk about the results and still we are in a decent area to work safe. do some tests. Uh, when we have connected the instrument and, uh, with an adapter, there is an Euro Z button occur and uh, plenty of different features and sub features. We can go now for the loop impedance testing and we can run the test. You can hear some noise that adapter start the measurement and the result occur on the screen. Here is the impedance of 53.9 milliohms and the short circuit current calculated 4.27 kilo amps. Now we have selected fuse type and here is fuse type NV400 amps 
for tripod time of 0.2 seconds, which is not really the correct settings. So we can go to the adjustment. We can switch the tripod time for the switchboard up to 5 seconds. Fuse will remain 400 amps and NV is fuse holder for this type of fuse. We can check the parameter 2.7 kilo amp is a limit for the short circuit or the fault calculation <coughs> of uh, this. We go back to the main screen and we can repeat the start procedure. Now we can talk a little bit about additional calculations, sub-calculations and sub-results. The whole impedance of 54.9 milliohms is split in between resistance value and inductive value of the result. Maximum short circuit current can be used for calculation of touch and uh, contact voltages in surrounding and minimum short circuit current is calculated with the hot factor to protect transformer also in case when it is overheated, overloaded and fuse still needs to melt in appropriate time to protect such a transformer. The formula to do such a calculation to evaluation of the result is already made according to those standardized rules. This instrument will do it for you. Very important feature for the troubleshooting or for predictive maintenance in the industry. Okay, this is very the basic measurement. We will do several different uh, measurements also on the real field. Let's pack and go to the real situation. Very fast, ready for all the situations on the field. So, not to forget something, one hand and you can bring everything from here to the field, to your car, uh, very robust equipment, IP, very well protected and let's go.